93.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. It's never a good thing when you pursue somebody, get their phone number, they finally agree to go out on a date with you, then you go out and they blow you off. Mm. But it's even worse when somebody pursues you, asks you out on a date, then you go out with them, and then they blow you off. Oh, that's Because <laughs> you know that it's more than just your looks or whatever. They didn't like something about you personally. <laughs> because they wanted to go out with you bad enough where they pursued you and asked you out, and then they were like, oh, yeah. Never mind. My mistake. <laughs> That's what happened to Alicia. Alicia, how are you? I'm good, guys. How are you? Good. We set that Start up that... so nicely. Uh-huh. She started <laughs> off on a positive note for you. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're yeah. welcome. So you met the guy that you want to call today at your yoga class? I've been going to this yoga studio for like two years, and I've noticed him maybe like six months ago. Yeah. Okay. And obviously I noticed him. It's yoga, so you don't really want to, you know. Do you get hit on a lot at yoga class? No, no. Okay. There's usually not more than like one yeah. or two dudes like, in my yoga class. I'll go to yoga occasionally, and if I've ever been and like even thought about hitting on a girl at yoga, you just feel like a creep. So <laughs> Exactly. How did he come on to you? Well, I noticed him a couple times, and then after like a month, we were in the kind of like the lobby area, putting uh-huh. our sneakers on, and he just started a conversation with me saying, you know, how long have you been coming to this yoga studio? Like, you're really flexible. <laughs> he did, did he not say, say that. that. Oh, no. Stop it. Wow, you're bendy. Oh. <laughs> he used that line? Okay, we were talking about the poses first, and then he said, you're really flexible. Okay, okay. so he didn't just come up to you and say, hey, I noticed you from across the room, and wow. You look like you could put your legs behind your head. <laughs> so wow. it, was, it was more innocent than you made it sound at first. Yeah. Okay. So, tell us about your date then. He picked me up. I mean, he opened the door for me. Like, how many guys open the cars and the restaurant door and make sure you go in first? And we had a really nice dinner. We had good conversation. He offered to share his food with me, which I thought was really sweet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good sign. And then, (laughs) at the end of the night, he walked me back to my place. And, I mean, I was putting all the signs out there. And he was kind of standing where there was enough distance that I knew that he wasn't going in for a kiss, and nothing happened. And you were making it pretty obvious that you would be okay with a kiss. Yes, I was (laughs) putting on all the floaty smiling, rubbing his arm, touching everything. (laughs) Did it look like he was thinking about making a move to kiss you? He was thinking about something. I don't know what he was thinking about. Maybe (laughs) Maybe he was just nervous, or maybe he just doesn't kiss on the first date. There's guys and girls that do that. Okay, but... <laughs> She's like, I've never <laughs> met one. Yeah. And then we kind of gave each other a hug and was like, he's like, I'd love to see you again. And I was like, of course, you know. So yeah. that's how it ended. All right. And how many times have you tried to get a hold of him since that night? I mean, once. I sent him like a thank you. Like, yeah, it's such a great night. I would love to hang out again. And he's like, yes. He even replied back saying yes, you know, sometime next week. And then nothing. Okay. How long ago was that? Probably about two weeks ago. It is weird. Maybe he lost his phone. I mean, this sounds like there could be, for once, a reasonable explanation. Was there anything noteworthy about the date that you're not telling us? Because a lot of times people will forget important details. I mean, I don't know. I thought I was being flirty. I touched his hand a couple times. Okay, but I mean more along the lines of, did you ask him to borrow money? Did you tell <laughs> no. him? Okay, and you don't have a sordid criminal history or anything else? Mm-mm. No. All right. It's, it sounds like a crazy no. question, but it comes up often yeah. where we call the person and they're like, oh, yeah, they said that they murdered like six people and I couldn't see them again. So there's <laughs> nothing glaring like that that you can think about. The date was perfectly normal. Yeah, it was a great first date all the way up until the end when we didn't have a kiss. Why didn't, why didn't you make the first move then? Guys, I'm a girl. I'm not going to make the first move. Oh, come Silly. on. All right, well, we'll play a song, come back, call him, and get your second date update, okay? Okay. All right, just hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. Alicia, I want to promise you this, okay? Out of all the second date updates we've ever done, I have never made this promise. But I promise you that I have your back no matter what happens. I don't believe it. Okay. Yep. I want to get you a second date. I don't care what happens. Why? Wow, Why? I, I have your back. There's an ulterior motive here. No, not that's at all. What I want to hear. Whatever we find out about you. Like if it's something you did that's weird or whatever. Oh, my goal, my mission here is to get you a second date. Okay, Alicia? <laughs> Woohoo! What if it, <laughs> all right. What if it crazy. turns out like the guy's married? 
And get rid of his wife. Elisa's way better. <laughs> She's like kidnapped some people. Yeah. Drop the zero, get with the hero. That's my girl, Alicia. If you're just tuning in for the second date update, we're about to call Jason. Alicia went out on a date with him after meeting him at yoga. Nothing really crazy happened on the date. Other than an awkward moment at the end where she thought he might want to go in for a kiss and then realized that he, in fact, didn't want to kiss her. That's the <laughs> only thing that she could think of that was awkward on the date. So we're going to call him, get him on the line, and see if, in fact, there was something that went wrong on your date. Okay? You ready? Okay. All right. Any closing thoughts before we make the phone call? Uh, let's get me a second date. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's positive. <laughs> Hello. Hi, is Jason in? This is he. Jason, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm sorry? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning, the radio show. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, not much. How about you? <laughs> uh, not too much. I'm calling you because you recently went out on a date with a listener of ours. Okay. Her name is Alicia. You met her at yoga class. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> Alicia. Yeah. Well, Alicia told us a little bit about your date, said that she really liked you and would love to see you again, but you haven't been uh, returning her phone calls. So Alicia is wondering if there's a reason that you don't want to go out with her. Yeah, you know, um, oh, this is weird. I, um, I've just been debating about whether to call her or not. Why are you debating? What, like, what's the problem? Well, is that you're not sure if you want to go out with her again? Yeah. I mean, I like her. We had a great time. It's not that we didn't have a great time. I mean, just when I saw her at yoga class, she was great. She was fantastic. And then we got out on this date. It was, I don't know, it was like she was a different person. You she was acting differently? No, no. I mean, she, she just looked like a totally different person. How? <laughs> you had your so you were catfished on a person that you actually met? <laughs> At a yoga class in person. How does that work? He had his yoga goggles on, Jubal. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Obviously makes people hotter. I mean, it's just, in class, she looks so amazing. Uh -huh. So amazing. Like, And it wasn't just, just because of the yoga clothes or whatever. She just, she's, she's a really pretty girl. But okay. she showed up for this date, and it, she just did not look the same. How can you look less attractive outside of yoga class? I mean, like, you're sweaty, you don't have makeup on. Yoga pants. pants are magical, bro. It is the pants. What was wrong with her when you saw her? She just, she had so much makeup on. She, I mean, she just looked completely different. Oh. Okay. So, so you actually like the natural her and not mm -hmm. the all done up Alicia. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I say so much makeup. I, I, I'm not talking like a lot of makeup. I'm talking like drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> really? So you, she showed up and you're like, uh, is your real name Jack? Yeah. Like, who are you? I, was it that bad, really? I mean, I'm not trying to be critical. It's just like I literally sat there thinking, oh, my God, I'm, this is a man. Like, <laughs> and I know better. I know she's not. You know what? I f***ing you, yoga class. I'm not like, drag, I, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> what? Hello? Hey, Jason, that's actually Alicia. She's on the phone. <laughs> I'm sorry oh, that I don't my look, God. look you know, beautiful to your standards when I'm dolling myself up for you for a f***ing date. Are you serious? I look like a drag queen? <laughs> I, I didn't know you were there. I, they, geez. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jason. I guess we should have maybe told you that beforehand. But yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, I don't think I look like a drag queen. I think that I looked really beautiful that night. And you don't know what real beauty is. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying, you know, maybe you don't need 15 pounds of makeup to go out on a date. <laughs> I think you're beautiful without all that stuff. I mean, I had such a great time. It was so much fun. Yeah, but just... then you're calling me a drag queen when I'm just outside of yoga class. What is that? It's insulting. Was it... He expects like a supermodel to just like walk out naturally like Giselle Bunchen with no makeup on. Are you crazy? Yeah, but I think he's Jason <laughs> saying... look like that. But Jason's saying that he liked you without yeah. makeup, so I don't even yeah. think he's saying that. Jason, are okay, you just so, like... Okay, a... I'm going on a date. You guys want me to wear yoga pants and like have sweaty hair and like... You guys okay. want me to I'm not like saying that at all, Alicia. <laughs> Alicia, remember, I have your back. Jason. <laughs> oh, yeah, no matter what. I... No matter what. Uh, Jason, are you one of those guys that's just against makeup? I'm not against makeup. I'm just, it's a little scary going out with somebody who looks totally different. 
I just, I didn't expect that, that's all. But is it something, I mean, you liked her, obviously. Like, why would that stop you from a yeah. second date? I've gone on second dates with guys who wear, you know, <laughs> stupid shirts. Like, you can tell her at some point, like, I think you're beautiful without the makeup. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say, is I think she's gorgeous without the makeup. I don't think she needs all that. I mean, I just, I don't know who I'm going to end up going out on a date with to go on a second date. <laughs> so it was so you know bad. What? You can go take your second date and shove it because I put so much effort into looking good for you that night, and then you go and insult me and call me a drag queen. Oh. Thank you. Oh, Alicia, okay. you are firing. <laughs> My yeah. gosh. I mean, so it doesn't I sound can't like. I can't believe you would call me a drag queen and then be like, oh, you're so beautiful in yoga class. Uh, I'm the same person, idiot. I know some hot drag queens. Wow. I'm just Alicia, saying. Alicia, it doesn't sound like you want to go out with Jason again. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just, I feel like, you know, maybe we'll try it again and just let's try a little less this time. Let's try nothing this time. You can go take it and shove it. Oh. <laughs> we originally started this with Alicia wanting a second date, and now you're not interested in Jason. You're willing to give it another shot? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> this is so weird because I thought I was going to have to convince Jason, but Alicia, is there any way I can convince you to go out with Jason again? No, and I don't even want to see him at yoga class anymore. My gosh, you're a dramatic woman. I've oh. never heard a girl be wow. so insistent that you should appreciate her for her outer beauty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you should embrace her for everything she is. I don't understand what you're getting all fired up about. I'm sitting here trying to tell you that you look good without all that makeup on. I mean, most people well, think listen, that's, I don't that's know, nice. Here's the too, okay? You just don't know how to appreciate beauty or art or makeup skills, okay? Oh. You obviously go for the hippie, like, let me grow my armpit hair out. <laughs> that, okay? I look good in yoga, and I look good outside, and you should appreciate both of that. <laughs> Alicia, like I told you before, Alicia, I've got your back in this whole thing. Jason, how dare you appreciate a woman for just her regular beauty and not wearing makeup? <laughs> You are such a dog, and you give all of us men a bad name. Get off my f- phone line right now, you Get piece him. of s***. Wow. Get him, How dare you? You weren't lying. Thank she you. spent a lot of money on that makeup, and all you can do is judge her and want her to be naturally beautiful. Oh. You are an ass, my friend. Broken Jubal in the morning. Getting a lot of texts. And at 78592 about the second date update, this one says, I understand where Jason, the guy in the second date update, was coming from. I hide my wife's makeup every time we go out on a date. (laughs) It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. I'm moving 92.5. If you missed the second date update, Alicia wanted us to call Jason. They met in yoga class. We called Jason and got him on the phone and found out why he wasn't giving her a call back after their first date. Mm -hmm. He wasn't calling her because she was wearing too much makeup. He said, without the makeup, she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But with the makeup, he doesn't like her very much. And then she continued to go off about what a jerk he was. <laughs> nice. I put it she, on for you, yeah. jerk. She Most girls really it. like that when you're like, oh my God, without makeup, you look so great. Yeah. She's <laughs> the other way around. That is our dream, to hear we're naturally beautiful. Right? Well, some people's dream, obviously, Lydia. I think Not she, hers. She was just ready to be angry from the get-go. You, you could have told her anything. Like, wow, you your butt looks amazing in those jeans. How dare you? In her defense, though, I know some girls that, like, I work at MAC. I'm a cosmetology major. And they take pride in their skills right. of, of makeup. And there there are some girls who are bad at makeup. Mm-hmm. they yeah. really oh. bad. Oh. Red lipstick, by the way, should be used sparingly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when girls put on... Maybe she was doing that, because when girls put on really bright red lipstick... Most of the time, it doesn't look okay. It's yeah. just shocking. It's just like, whoa. And it's on your happened? teeth half the time. Yeah. And, so yeah. maybe that was it. But or, anyway, it was just yeah. funny how she got so angry at him for saying that she was naturally good looking. Lots of texts coming in at 78592 going, I'll go out with him. He sounds like a great guy. I never have to wear makeup. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you would think that people would like that, but she did not. One yeah, minute. You know. Remember, if you want a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, brickandjubal at moving925.com. We will call the person. Who didn't call you back? And don't forget, at 810, another pair of tickets to see Jay-Z and Beyonce, Woo. July 30th, the On the Run Tour at Safe Go Field. Moving 92.5.